When Kwame Kilpatrick was sworn in as mayor of Detroit in 2002 at the age of 31, he was the youngest person to ever hold the office. Described as brash and larger than life, he seemed to embody the big-shouldered strength of the Motor City. Y'all all right? Yeah. yeah. Good. How you? Yeah. Then the wheels fell off. A series of wrongdoing, including lying about an affair with his chief of staff, led to criminal charges, forcing him to resign in 2008 and serve time in state prison. In 2013, he was convicted of 24 federal corruption-related crimes and sentenced to 28 years in prison. Not at this time. I don't have any comment. Kilpatrick was set to stay in prison until at least 2037. But on his final day in office, President Trump commuted Kilpatrick's sentence. He was a free man. Have you met President Trump since you've been out? I have not. I'm looking forward to meeting him one day, though. What are you going to say to him? Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely, thank you. I'm going to give him a pound. Listen, thank you, Mr. President. Now, 51, Kilpatrick is reflective and facing his regrets. When did you realize that, that things had gone off the tracks? It was actually quick. 2008, um, you know, it was revealed that, that uh, my tremendous character flaw and lying and manipulating of my own wife and family with having an adulterous relationship was put out in the public. And I had to protect my family and my then wife. It was tough. Things got a lot tougher after his conviction on the federal charges. Many of the crimes he still denies committing. Did you do it? The mail fraud, the wire fraud, the perjury. I did the perjury, you know. But all of this mail fraud, wire fraud, anybody... Conspiracy. Conspiracies, um, absolutely not. 24 counts. 24 counts of federal charges. And you still maintain that you were innocent of, of the overwhelming majority of, of, of those charges? Absolutely. Absolutely. Talk to me about the, the Kwame Kilpatrick before prison and the, the Kwame Kilpatrick that, that sits here. Now. You know, the Kwame Kilpatrick before prison really thought he had it all figured out. Going into that prison um, was like a womb for me. Um, I literally was in darkness. I was broken to the point of even having thoughts about not being here anymore. Um, but out of that womb came a totally new understanding um, because I was broken enough to receive the spirit of humility. Although Kilpatrick resists saying he found God in prison, his faith has become the focal point of his life. I was broken enough and all out of options and in a position where I just don't know what else to do. I, I've, I've come to the end of myself and I accepted Christ as my Lord and Savior and everything in my life changed from the moment I got up off my knees to now. He's got a new purpose now, remarried with a baby due in June and as an ordained pastor, he started an online ministry. Suddenly, the Holy Spirit showed up. I have a mission, and that mission, I'm on borrowed time. You know, I'm still serving a 28-year sentence. I just feel like I have a different warden in a different place. I really do. Part of the, the Christian faith is, is atonement for wrongdoings. Do you feel like you've, you've, you've done that? With the, with the people of Detroit, with friends, with family, I apologize to the people of Detroit so many times. They stopped telling me to apologize. Don't you apologize? Oh, we got it. We, we're clear. I've asked for forgiveness from this city, and it's been accepted. Um, the people who are willing to accept. There are some people, you know, they'll never accept. Uh, uh, but in this town, um, I believe they have. Hmm. On the town, Kilpatrick says that the, the people he feels he wronged the most, his three sons, now grown men, he's been working to repair those relationships while starting, starting that new life. We should mention that the White House cited Kilpatrick's time in prison as the reason his sentence was commuted, saying that he taught a public speaking class and he also led Bible study groups as well. So. Interesting to see, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, what the transformation appears. It, yeah, well, he's, he's, he's trying. Yeah. He's okay. trying. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.